Okay, let's start this thing off. What's up, machine freaks? I hope you guys are enjoying your day. Good morning, good afternoon, good night, wherever you... That's Justin Bieber playing. I didn't realize that that was going on. Okay, we'll just... Maybe it's... No, I guess it's not Justin Bieber. Is it? No, it's definitely not Justin Bieber. Anyways, as you saw yesterday, I hung out with Jake and Seth. First things first. All right. Can you adjust me? Oh, never mind. <laughs> and as you can see, it was a good time. I mean, it's always a good time hanging out with those guys, whether we have an uh, awesome time in front of the camera or not in front of the camera. It's usually a swell and fine time. However, there is a mess. They have made a mess. Jake, you forgot to sweep this up. I mean, I guess I, I guess you paid me for it. So, I, what is it, Abraham Lincoln? Okay, that makes things a little better. Okay, we still have some rod right here. Okay, we can probably not use that. I've had parts soaking, as you know. Everybody was wondering yesterday, like, why aren't you working on the KTM? You were working on the KTM before. You said you were gonna let those parts soak. The thing about, you know, 3D machines and, and this whole channel and myself, I mean, I'm human, you know? There's a lot of error that goes through my head that, that goes through the shop and, and things of that nature. So when Jake and Seth wanna hang out, I wanna hang out with those guys. I don't care how many projects I gotta put on hold. I love enjoying time with my friends and you should too. Let's, let's just end it there. Friend time is good time. I had some parts soak and they're still in here. I have yet to check them out yet, so we should just go ahead and do that. Jake told me not to throw this away on him, so I will put this somewhere safe. Let me get the tripod and we'll check these parts out. I'm sure this is something that I'm not going to want to touch with my hands. I mean, it smells like it would really kill you if you drank some of this stuff. I'm not going to drink any of this stuff. I read on a forum that you're supposed to allow this stuff to soak anywhere from 12 to 24 hours to spend longer than that, which I can imagine is a good thing. Okay, here's some fan mail real quick. I'm gonna just do this so I can use the card so I can use the cardboard box that it came in. They sent sprockets, big one and a small one for Seth and Jake's wall art. Hi, my name is Jacob S. I'm 15. Me and my friend Reeve T watch your vlogs every day. Reeve is looking to buy his first 250 because he has outgrown his 100. Thank you for clarifying that, Jacob. I hope you're keeping it froggy fresh. I'm always keeping it froggy fresh. I hope you, Seth and Jake, like it. I wish we could ride with you guys one day. Thanks. Hey, you put it in your mind and you really think about it. Anything is possible, Jacob. I will try to get these things to the wall, but I also want to thank you for the cardboard because I'm about to use it. One thing that I am slightly disappointed in is the fact that I have this washer that I don't know where it goes, so I'm going to have to look at a parts diagram. I don't remember putting that in there, and all of a sudden it's in there. All right, now that that's all taken care of, I can go ahead and put the remaining carburetor parts that I just took out of here, and I'm now going to put them in my ultrasonic cleaner. This is the machine I'm working on, the KTM. I believe it's a 2007, it's a 250 XCW. And as you can see, it's it's kind of, you know, it's only missing a few parts, but I mean, other than that, she's ready to go. All you gotta do is put gas in it and just rock it just like that. Obviously, I'm kidding. If you don't understand what sarcasm is, it's dictionary.com, that's W-W. Usually I would take something like this and throw it on my workbench, but this thing's really heavy. It's gotta weigh like 30, 40 pounds. 50 pounds, it weighs 50 pounds, it's pretty heavy. Here's the cleaner, yeah. And here's the safety data sheet, hmm, that's very appropriate. I'll be careful with it just because they sent the data sheet. If they didn't send the data sheet, you know, I wouldn't be so hesitant. Now time to get my Chef Boyardee on. I like how I have the glove on the hand that I'm not going to touch the stuff with. Oh, that covers that perfectly. That sound always scrambles my brain. It like, it's shocky, it's loud, but it's quiet. The frequency. Screw in my head. 
We're gonna let that go for an hour. It only goes in 30 minute increments, so I have to do that two times. I guess this is a good excuse for me to go ahead and clean my garage. Damn you, ultrasonic cleaner. Damn you! My neighbors are rocking out with tunes, so uh, we're gonna go to a time lapse pretty quickly. But as you can see, the carburetor's cleaned up relatively well. I mean, there is a lot of like soot on the outside, but on the inside, it looks all brand new. You can check it out. Looks nice. The slide is extremely slippery and extremely clean. The jets are extremely clean. The adjustment screws are clean. And I did find where that washer goes. So let's get into a time lapse right about now. Here's my finished carburetor. As you guys know, this bike never used to run very good from the day I bought it. And I believe that to be the leak from the crankshaft down down there. The kid actually put the spacer on backwards. It looks like he like replaced a lot of gaskets. I see a lot of RTV gasket maker and I see some new gaskets, which is good. Um, I like to see that he has RTV on new gaskets. So that tells me that uh, he wasn't just jerry-rigging it. He was merely trying to do a good job. So other than that spacer being on backwards, I think this thing is going to be in good shape. The carburetor probably didn't need the work that I did to it, but um, you know, there's nothing wrong with cleaning something out and just getting a couple more hours out of it uh, later on. I hope that makes sense. My neighbors dig Katy Perry. The jamming out is contagious. So contagious. Done. You know as well as I know, it's been a while since I've touched this thing. I'm not sure if I'm going to remember exactly what needs to happen first, or even if I have all the parts. And if I do, where do those parts go? I guess just like my homework that I used to hate, we'll do one step at a time. I mean, it's better now. I don't get graded anymore. If I screw up, I just ruin a bright Maybe school was easier, or less costly. Uh, gas is on, let's see if we have any leaks. Hopefully we do not have any leaks. Please, gas gods, don't let there be any leaks. It leaks, it leaks. There's the leak, you see how it's wet right there? It's leaking. Why does this keep happening to me? Like, every single project I have, don't say because everything I own is Because that is true. But why does it keep happening? Like, I, I'm like, okay, today I'm going to work on the KTM. Okay, I cleaned the carburetor out extremely good. Like, it cost me a lot of money to do that. Those chemicals cost a lot of money. The parts, the other dip is, cost a few bucks. When, well, when I say a few bucks, that means like more than 20 or 25. Besides the point, I invested time and money and energy into this thing, and yet a part fails. I work on the BMW. I get into it. I, I try to fix it. Something leaks. I try to work on the GX1000, granted it's been a while, but I take it apart and I do work and then I need something else. Like when does the list just finally stop? Or how do I try to plan for that? Am I really supposed to like make a dartboard or something when I go to work on a project and just throw darts at whatever targets with my eyes closed and say, okay, that's the part I'm gonna need. This is what causes pattern interrupts and not consistency. One day I'll be working on the Duramax and then the next day I'll be working on the KTM. Then I'll be working on the BMW and then I'll be working on the Ranger. It's because parts and I own junk. I know I own junk. It's chaos, but I love chaos. I don't smoke, I don't drink. Chaos is my drug, life is my drug, and I get high as hell off of it. I hope you guys enjoyed this 3D Machines production. We didn't get very far because, you know, things happen like that. 
leave a time in the comment section below where you have had the same thing happen. You go to try to do something and a bump occurs. Whether that's going to a store and getting in a car accident or just, uh, you know, the list goes on and on. But I hope you enjoyed this 3D Machines production. If you want any 3D Machines merch, the link is in the description. Enjoy the rest of your day. Have a super froggy fresh evening or afternoon or morning. Whatever is going on there. I'll hopefully see you tomorrow. Until tomorrow, 3D Machines out. Hey dude, I'm kind of questioning whether or not I want to own a KTM anymore. Own a what? KTM anymore. Oh yeah? It's not a good time. Sorry about that. Yep, we're just gonna throw it on Craigslist and uh, we'll, we'll ask a hundred bucks for it and hopefully I can get that out of it.